Social media can literally ruin your life. I'm just being honest. It has stolen my childhood though. And it still is gonna continue to steal the lives of others. You know, social media, there is so much on there. And there is so much on social media. So many creators that are making thousands of dollars from just posting meaningless content that might be actually helping people, okay? I think that content creators are needed in this society, right? If we didn't have them, like, then this world maybe would be worse. Maybe this world would be a worse place. Who knows, right? We all have technology, we all have phones, we all have those electronic devices these days. And so, the only thing that I want to warn you, alright, if you are always gonna consume this type of content, like, you need to realize that it's eating your life, okay? Like, it's good to have these devices, to know how they work, know how they operate, but you, for your own self, and for your own benefit, and for your own mental health, you should quit it. You should quit watching meaningless content, you should quit TikTok, you should quit all these apps, okay? Like, these apps, every single app that you see, every single one of them, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, uh, even Snapchat, it's all designed to steal your life, to keep you hooked, right? Those developers that develop these platforms, they don't care about your mental health. They don't care about how you're doing, how is your family situation, how is your own sit life situation, if you have a house, a nice house, if you have a nice woman to be with, if you have a nice car, let's say, that you're driving, if you're living in a place that you like and that you want. They don't care. They're never gonna care. Like, people are selfish these days. I consider myself selfish. And I know why I'm selfish, because, like, selfish people win, okay? That's just my opinion, like, they're always gonna win, they're all, they've been winning for centuries, right? Selfish people who are not tired of working, who are able to work and outwork their competitions, like, they're gonna win all the time. They'll win over and over and over again, and it's not gonna be any different, any soon. So... You should quit social media for a lot of extent. You should not watch videos. You should not look at these people that are partying, doing dumb shit that you don't even care about. Or following people that... Like, the truth is, you don't care about the majority of these people. Like, you don't care. Maybe you do about some, and if you do care, if you want to form some relationship with these kinds of people, fine. Like, go for it. But like... For the majority of people that you follow online, it's useless to do this kind of stuff, right? So don't waste time on social media, okay? Learn how social media works, and if you want to work on social media, then use social media as a side hustle, as something that you can work on, as a business, okay? Social media is a business. There are businesses all around us, and many people don't realize this, and it's making me sad for these people that are not realizing this. But these platforms, it's all designed to serve audiences, you know? So, social media is a beautiful thing. It's a huge innovation in today's society. And it's really and largely great. It's a huge innovation. Thanks to social media, we can connect with each other on levels that will not possible ever before we don't need to even go outside anymore you know have a video call share some files share some photos you can all do that through social media in today's age you know it's really great that we now have this technology that we have all those things together but it's dangerous for a lot of people and if you are gonna always consume on these platforms if you're gonna always be a consumer then just quit it, okay? Like, don't don't waste so much time on it. Like, it can literally ruin your life. It had wasted a lot of my years, which wasn't necessary. If I was smarter then, if I was smarter sooner, like, I could have stopped that social media addiction earlier. And I didn't have to waste a lot of my years 
like good and young years. Social media is great. You know, there's a lot of useful stuff, a lot of great content creators that have great personalities that are really good people and that are providing tons of value for you guys, for the audience, you know, they're really great at this and content creators will always be there. They will always be on this earth. <laughs> so that's just what it is. Social media is, in my opinion, useful and a lot of people can use it for their own benefit and I've benefited from it, from social media myself as well and a lot because I have learned a lot of things. I have learned a whole new language. I have learned about businesses a lot. I have learned about money, I would say. And I've learned about relationships as well too. And about life overall. Like It has taught me a lot of great things, I can say. But... At some point you need to realize that it's not helping you anymore like it's these videos these photos these tutorials if, if you're a person that is smart and intelligent and that has high intelligence like you're gonna realize that it does not really matter like you're gonna realize that you're just wasting time on these platforms on social media overall so the only thing that will improve your life overall and the only thing that can improve your life, that can make you successful if you want to be successful and that can make you a high value person is when you provide. But it's when you do the work, you know, the more people work, the more they can earn, the more they can provide for their own families, the more they can be high value in this society. So action, taking action when you know things taking action and doing the hard work when you don't feel like it is the only way how you can improve your life and it's not gonna change it's never gonna change it's always gonna be like this so action is the only way out if you are in a bad place if you're in a bad position action is the only thing that can help you another problem with social media and how detrimental it is is that you're gonna be comparing yourself to the people on social media you know that's just how it is. Like the majority of people that are out there that I know are going to compare themselves to these people on social media. I did this myself, right? And it's not a healthy thing to do. You should not compare yourself to me. You don't know me. You don't know my family situation. You don't know anything about me except that I'm just a random guy recording videos for you guys and being a YouTuber. You don't know anything about me. So you should never compare yourself to me. I might be looking for you as someone that is handsome, you know. I consider myself to be attractive. So I have a ring, I have this chain, you know. And I have big muscles, that's also a big point. But maybe I might be making you feel insecure, but don't be insecure, okay. Like if you are insecure because of me, that's bad. I don't want you to be, right. You need to do your internal work. Yeah, you might be having some insecurities. Come on, like, let's be it. We all have insecurities. We are all going through shit. And it's not great, right? But you comparing yourself to other people, and more successful people, it's not worth it, all right? It's never going to be worth it for you at all. So stop comparing yourself to me or anyone else. Just like Jordan Peterson said, right? Compare yourself to who you were yesterday. Right, just learn to adopt that mindset. That, no, you're not gonna compare yourself to other people no more. Like, don't do that. That's dumb and it's not gonna be useful to you at all. Never do that, okay? Compare yourself to who you were yesterday. I want you to do that for the rest of your life from now on, right? When you wake up and you go to school, you brush your teeth, you go to school, boom. And you go back from school, you maybe go to a part-time job. Okay, cool. That's a pretty decent life of a high school student, let's say, or any student. It's good that you're going to a part-time job. Cool. But have you thought about or have you considered about starting a business? Have you thought about that you can literally just make a business on your own without anyone's help, without anything, you know, from scratch? Like in today's age, in today's crazy age of technology, you can literally make businesses online from your own house right now.
that you're sitting in right now. You just need to understand the basics of business and you need to understand how businesses work and how they operate. It's all you need to know. You can learn those things, right? It's all online. It's all out there. You just need to put in the work and you need to do what's necessary. So don't be afraid to do that because that's the only way you can win. And this overall comparison through social media, it's only going to damage your mental health. So it's not great, okay? Stop looking at other people. Stop watching other people's lives, that they are, how they are living the best lives. Stop doing these things, right? Stop following these influencers. Stop doing all those meaningless things. It's not going to help you, right? It's not going to solve your problems. The only thing that can solve your problems is taking action on your own life and focusing on your own self. Just doing the work, you know, doing what you have to. That's it. That's literally all that is. Like, work on your own family, work on your own career, work on your own self. In my opinion, for you as a man, if you're a man and a student, as I can say, or anyone, okay, and you don't have your own car, you don't have your own house, and you don't have your own health together, and all those things together, you should not be thinking about women. If you're doing that, then you're, you're a pussy. I'm just being honest. Like, you should not do it. So, you should focus on yourself first. You know, build those things, have those things, and then take care of some woman. So, yeah, social media can literally ruin your life. Yes, stolen a lot of my childhood. It has stolen a lot of my great relationships. So now, don't do it. It's not worth it, okay? Stop comparing yourself to people on social media. Stop wasting time on social media. If it's not adding any more value to your life, just quit it and live, right? Work, live, work, make money, live your life, fall in love, have a family, have a house, have a car, travel the world. That's how a successful life looks like, in my opinion. So stop wasting time on social media and stop damaging your mental health by watching these people online and yeah, stuff like that. So quit social media it's not worth it <laughs> and peace guys